It is becoming all too familiar for this time of the year. Public safety power shutoffs because of high fire danger. Now, PG&E says that this is expected to be the largest shutoff of the year. Let's show you the outage map in real time. Those purple triangles show where the shutoff began last night. In some areas, the lights not expected to be back on until sometime tomorrow. We have live team coverage for you tonight. We begin with NBC Bay Area show Heard and Orinda and Cheryl. So much frustration there has to be. We've done this so many times. It is, and right now we are in the heart of the theater district, and this iconic sign that you can usually see from the freeway is out. In fact, power went out here about 8.30 last night, and tonight people are doing all they can to survive until the lights come back on sometime tomorrow. Uh, I'm packed up, ready to go in case I have to go. John Thazel oh, says he's not worried about evacuating his Arenda home tonight. He's more concerned about what's in his fridge. He bought some ice to help save perishables. Takes me back to when I was a kid before we, you know, a lot of times back in the Midwest, uh, you'd have storms and no electricity, so you got used to it. People here in the Bay Area are getting used to public safety power shutoffs, a tool PG&E uses to turn off power when there is extreme high fire danger. They have to do what they have to do. It's better than a fire. A red flag warning has been issued for the Berkeley Hills. City officials asking residents to leave until the danger is over. We just decided to wait it out and it wasn't that bad. So, Due to high winds in the area, PG&E has been unable to fly helicopters to inspect power lines. So tonight, stoplights are out. Businesses remain closed and gas pumps shut down. Charging stations like this one at the Moraga Valley Presbyterian Church has been set up by PG&E to help people get through this. I have a generator that's broken. <laughs> I know. And I don't have anybody to fix it. So that's actually why we're here, too. I mean, if we had the generator, we would have been golden. PG&E will start inspecting power lines at daybreak. Reporting live in Arenda, I'm Troll Heard, NBC Bay Area News. Okay, thanks, Cheryl. Now, wind pounded the East Bay hard, knocking over trash cans, snapping tree branches, even bringing down some power lines. In the foothills of Fremont, part of a large eucalyptus tree fell narrowly missing a house. Let's bring in Chief Meteorologist Jeff Ranieri. Jeff, you're out there in the dark because you have no power. So when is the, this wind going to be behind us? When are things going to be restored? Well, I think we're completely done with the wind once we hit tomorrow evening around 7 and 8 o'clock. Uh, but as you mentioned, uh, I just have a small generator lighting this live shot. Otherwise, my neighborhood is dark here in the East Bay. We were told power would come back on at 10 p.m. tonight. Now it looks like maybe not until 1 p.m. tomorrow. So everybody wants this wind out of here. Let's get you a look right now. And for most of us, that wind has calmed down. It is very, very light here, only about 3 to 6 miles per hour. But when you look in the hills, you can see see the color contour on this map. It's popping up some of this yellow, a little bit of orange. Those are some of those 30 mile per hour wind gusts uh, that we have seen this evening. So the fire danger focus is for the north and the East Bay Hills for some of the highest mountain peaks, two to 3,000 feet up. We could see some occasional gusts of 25 to 50 miles per hour. That expires at 5 p.m. tomorrow. So 3 a.m. little burst of wind possible right there over the North Bay Mountains. And then as we head through tomorrow morning, the focus of the best chance of that mountain wind would be right over portions of the North Bay. Jessica, I'm back in about 15 minutes with a full look at that wind forecast and my seven day. Uh, but I have to say, obviously, we knew the power was going to go out. But on top of COVID and everything else, it is quite an eerie night out here this evening. Yeah, it certainly has to be exhausting all the way around. Thank you, Jeff.